You're talking durability. I shot a 270 bullet through the thing. I had a 270 high power rifle 20 foot away and that doggone bullet did not make it through your metal. Hi, I'm Brendan from Luxury Pergola. We have Mr. Rich Osborne, who uh, has been working with us for a little bit on his project. He decided to uh, spend some time with us to discuss the project. So we appreciate him being here. Rich, how are you? I am good. Good, you? Doing well. So you had a pretty unique project. Um, what led you to consider the Luxury Pergola over some of the other options out there? Uh, like everybody, I went online and researched uh, pergolas and and uh, and and landed on yours. Uh, looked at everything and actually landed on three different companies. But I traveled uh, right three hours, two different times to go look at somebody's pergola, and uh, just looking at yours online could see the difference in mass of the of the unit and how it went together. And uh, because mine's unique, there was certain things that I was looking for uh, to be able to do what I wanted to do. And your guys is definitely fit the bill. Good. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. And uh, you had an, an interesting situation where you uh, you tested the durability of the pergola. And uh, I'd, li I'd like to say that was somebody else tested the durability of it, but it was in yeah. fact me. Yes, uh, <laughs> there was there was a target uh, in my pond that I didn't want in my pond and I was uh, aiming over top of the pergola and I learned a very good lesson. Your scope height and the barrel height are two different heights. I had a 270 high power rifle 20 foot away and that doggone bullet did not make it through your metal. Your metal is heavy enough. It got through one side. We're talking a 270 high power rifle. Yeah. So if, if there are any customers out there that accidentally shoot their pergola, we can we can replace some parts. <laughs> uh, Lord. How important was like it being made in America and us making it ourselves? How how important was that to you? Well, I work for a family owned business. Now, I'm an independent contractor, but work with a family owned business. I I hold that really high up. Made in America, we we sell we uh, we sell the same thing with our product and talk about that a lot. I think I think the family owned side of it and the fact that you guys are working with your dad and and you guys developed it and did it all um, on your own and you you know you're bringing up the next side of it with your family is probably the bigger thing that uh, got me going. But I mean to be honest with you, the, the quality of the of the of the build and the fact that you guys had everything so DIY. Um, yeah really really should seal it for everybody if anybody's looking to do a pergola and they're going to do it themselves uh which i highly highly recommend because if you pay somebody it's it's good it's going to get ridiculous with those other companies i got a quote for those guys to come do it and i was doubling the price on my pergola so wow. uh uh so uh you know doing it myself and the diy side you know there's people should just look nowhere else so um, we talk about, you know, DIY pergolas and DIY stuff. How is this as like a DIY product compared to other DIY products so far as, you know, quality, durability, that kind of thing? Is is it similar, different? What, what did, What's your experience? Well, you're talking durability. I shot a 270 bullet through the thing. <laughs> I mean, you're not I mean, find that at Home Depot, we're, right? We're a, I, I, I was flabbergasted that it didn't come out the other side. Yeah. So with, um, have you had any crazy storms or anything just to see if, you know, it can actually handle the wind ratings we talk about? Oh, there ain't no storm kicking that thing down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. no, we, I, we've had some heavy winds, but yeah. you know, no big snow load yet, but you know, just in case in the winter time, I'm just, gonna, I'm probably just going to leave it open, but okay. I, I'll tell you what, the, the, the weight coming down on that thing, uh, and the way it, it, uh, it's beamed out to where it's delivering the weight across the whole area. There's, mm -hmm. there's no way that thing's coming down. Yeah. If anybody thinks, if anybody thinks this thing is, is not the real deal when they get that, that box and they're unloading them boxes out of that back of that truck, they'll figure out pretty quick. It's the real deal. Yeah. So compared, you know, this to other pergola kits on the market, um, are they close in the same league, um, interchangeable? 
I haven't. Uh, the, the other, the only other two, I looked at three other pergolas. The so one was, I don't know, what's that, whatever the company is that likes that pergola really well. And it's like eighty or $90,000 for what I've oh, yeah. done. I forget what the name of that company is. I mean, it's a nice looking pergola too, but holy mackerel, the price. And it still has some fabrication that you have to do on them. Oh, the other thing that I did do, um, just to leave, a, put a little bit into this, uh, is I called four, three or four of those companies and got their installers on mm -hmm. the phone and called and talked to them. And a lot of them were telling me that this is not a DIY pergola. That yeah. Actually, to tell you the truth, two of the two of the guys from the competition gave me uh, told me to call you guys, which oh, I had wow. already done. But uh, yeah, so they they told me if you want a true DIY, this is the one you need to go to because. Uh, you know, the other ones, the other ones, there's just too much fabrication and stuff. Yeah. So with ours and our quality compared to the 80 or $90,000 one, our, what would you say the comparison was, would be like? Well, I, I don't know if those other ones are any beefier than yeah. what you guys have. I mean, the, uh, as far as heaviness of material, I do believe that your guys is by far the heaviest of, of the ones that I actually looked at. Uh, yeah. Aesthetically. Um, you know, when you, when you put in the whole gutter system and the way it's put together and all that, it just looks super clean. Uh, the other ones didn't have all that. So it, you, when you're looking at fit and finish, you're looking at fabrication time, you're looking at DIY. There's just, I mean, there, there's just no reason to go anywhere else. Yeah. That was our goal when making it is we wanted to have the same you know quality and standards as the 80 or $90,000 one and, and offer it at a much, much better price. So. Sounds like that's, yeah, what, that's what your experience was like. Yeah. Well, okay. So the one thing that that I have, it's been a while since I looked at that eighty or ninety thousand dollar one. But there, but the one thing that people really need to look at if they're gonna, if they're going to go away from the luxury pergola, they need to look at the design of the louvers. The yep. design of the louvers is significantly different um in how the the strength and how it's put together how you guys have it extruded the yep. whole way through with the interlocking lip and the the weather stripping that that takes away the clank sound every time things come together and obviously you you know as well as I do is those interlocks aren't interlocking at the same time on every single one so you get yeah. clunk, 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 you know you it's it's rumbling a little bit when those things are put together when they don't have the extras that you guys put in but there's there's a significant difference in the overall thickness and, and design of the louvers themselves between yeah. the different companies so a lot of people um may not get in as in depth as i did to looking at all the stuff i mean you yeah. even shared some of your drawings with me yeah. um to, to allow me to do some of the things that i did uh, and, uh, you know, if you, if you just look at some of that stuff and you look at the way the things are put together, uh, the people would see that there's, there is a significant difference, not just in the beam system, not just into the posts, the way that you guys design the base of the post, you know, a lot of these companies, their, their post, um, uh, base that goes up inside only goes up inside six, eight inches, 10 inches. Yeah. Uh, yours goes up significantly more than that. So uh, it, 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 it's not just the overall aesthetic look and it looks beefy and heavy. I mean, those doggone uh, inserts that you're bolting down to the floor before you put the post on are heavy as crap. Yeah. Those things, those things aren't light. No. Uh, so it's, 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 it's thick the whole way. It's thick the whole way around. It's, it's not just one portion of it. You guys didn't just say, let me, let me make this be strong for the things that the people are picking up and seeing and what's in front of them, it's beefy and strong the whole way around. Yeah. And to kind of caveat with the, the louver design, there are a lot of, you know, different extruded uh, louvers out there, but two of them is going to be the design, as you said, like that, the flat bottom with the arch top gives it a lot of extra strength. The thickness is one of the big, big differences that, that you'll see on, on our louver versus the others. And, the, the main benefit there is it's not going to sag um, when you you know cover 12 feet, whereas if it is sagging, you get a wind load, it starts to chatter. Um, so, yeah, that was we, we went through a lot of iterations to try to make sure that, uh, you know, it was as strong as possible and 
you know, was quiet when it worked and then uh, wouldn't chatter on you in the wind. Yeah, so another thing that uh, I don't remember with the other louvers was the uh, relief V groove that you put in the yeah. center of it to, to, to give it a, a little bit different of a aesthetic look from the bottom. Yep. The other ones are flat the whole way across. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that gives you any value in your. Uh, it, sometimes when you put those V grooves in there, it gives you some strength value, some reinforcement value uh, in there. But it, the aesthetic look of it is really uh, a lot different than what some of those other louvers had. Yeah, we wanted it to look kind of like a tongue and groove ceiling. So that's why we put yeah. that in there. Just because if you have the. Or is an eight inch louver. So you have an eight inch, you know, flat piece. It, it can look kind of bland. So that my dad pushed hard for the V groove. So that's, that's why we have that in there. Yeah. We still have to put the lights up in it. We've, uh, we did buy some, uh, uh, led light strings that we got to run through there and it just started getting too cold. So I gave up for a little bit, but, uh, we're going to get that done. And, and we did also buy a nice, uh, freaking golf, simulator that we're going to set up in there on the summer times and the guys are going to stay out there and, and we're going to golf it through the evenings and stuff so it's going <laughs> to it's going to duplicate as a simulator here pretty soon oh that'll be nice yeah so with um with this uh i guess kind of a layup after this whole you know interview would you recommend the the luxury pergola to other people uh, yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. there's no the, i i wouldn't even recommend uh, those guys uh, going over and taking a look at the other ones, you can see enough looking right online. There's there's enough uh, pictures and and uh, things to show you how to do the stuff with some of those other ones. That if they if they start looking at the difference between your videos and the other ones, uh, th there's just there's just no reason to go anywhere else. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it. So with uh, as a thank you, we have your your link in the description. Um, that's an affiliate link, just kind of as a thank you to you. And then if anybody uh, who's buying this was was compelled by uh, Rich's experience, uh, you can use that link and you'll get a discount on your product. Um, so again, that'll be in the description. But thank you for for taking the time, Rich. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to kind of seeing more of, of how you use it in the in the future. And, and that golf simulator will be really cool too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you have a good one. You have a good, good weekend. Thank you too. See ya.